Hello everybody, it's Luggajack20, welcome back to the Let's Play of Ocarina of Time. In the last part, we got us, we, ah, what, I, what did I do in the last part? Well, I did get, I, I beat the Gerudo Archery Challenge. I became one of the Gerudos, actually. Technically, I got, I got a certificate. And now I'm out here to find the Spirit Temple. I just completed the first task, which is basically using a hookshot to get across a river of sand. And now to do the second challenge, the Phantom Guide. Using the lens of truth, if I'm correct. Oh, there he is. That has to go. Yes, yes, I'm going. Oh, well, it's kind of interesting seeing a pose I can talk. Now, the, now the thing is, you have to stay by him at all times. Even if you, even if you can see the exit, because you are going to cross by it. Don't run to it, otherwise you're just going to automatically... Oh crap, levers! Those are those desert thingies I hated from Link's in the Past, man. Yeah, even if you can see the exit, don't run to it. Like, it's those two flags right over there, but if you get too far away from him, you're just going to be warped all the way back to the beginning. So, he's going to lead you in some circles, but just follow him. They all work out. And yeah, you do need the lens of truth at all times to be able to see him, otherwise he'll be invisible again. Alright, here we are. Still loving that music. So this is it. The Desert Colossus. I actually completely guessed that name, I haven't heard that yet all day. But yes, this is the spirit temple. Oh, and I'm sinking. Don't stand in one place for too long, you'll start sinking in the sand. And there are levers everywhere, so another reason why you want to keep moving. Ah, oh, shoot. No, no, no. Still moving. Probably a little oasis here. No water, though. Oh, she's glowing green again. Maybe when he's our arcana here. Try the song of storms. That usually gets us water. <gasps> it's filling up. Now I can get water. And fairies. Well. Nah, you know, I don't want to keep that last ball in case something else is good. Nice to know that now all I have to do is play the Song of Storms and Bam and some fairies. Definitely help if I'm down on health. What is this place? Well, no sense in just staying out here. Let's check this place out. Whoa! Pods! Nothing that does see again. What does these big signs say? If you want to travel to the future, you should return here with the power of silver from the past. So I have to go to the past. But if I want to proceed to the past, I have to return with the power of the child. Oh, I get it. So I ain't going nowhere today. That hole is too small for me to crawl into. And I'm pretty sure that silver boulder I can't carry. I can push the regular boulders, not those silver ones. Great. Well, I'm screwed now. I'm able to get any song to get back here. I can't cross this as a child. What? Oh, it's you, Sheik. Alright, what is it? Past, present, future. What the heck was that up there? The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through Time's River. I'm saying, there's a bird up there. What the, the port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. Yeah, I kind of figured that out. You know, middle of the game. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through time's flow. Listen to this Requiem Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. Oh, so, oh I get it. So, since I can't... Ooh, mysterious. So, I get it. Since I can't cross the desert and do all that stuff as a child, I can use it to skip all and come right here. This will be useful. Well, no, that was the bird. It's Kebora Gebora. And he's being creepy again. I think that 
that's actually the first time I've seen him in the future, actually. Well, off he goes. What the heck is this thing? Couldn't have had all this time. This is awkward. Wait, can I? Oh, so now you can make sand appear out of nowhere. Wind, you can bend wind now. Great, who am I dealing with? Anyway, if I'm correct, this Requiem of Spirit should take me... Well, you see it over there. It's a Triforce pad. Right there. So, no use staying here. Better get to the Temple of Time and start setting things straight. Yeah, I want to go there. That's the only reason I play it anymore. Here we go! All right, so we have to get what they call the power of silver from the past. Okay, I guess I need to get an item so I can proceed as an adult. Makes sense enough to me. Let's go. Plugging in now. This will work. Shame. I, 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 after. Wait, hang on. We got Requiem Spear going. No. No, no, no. Wrong one. There we go. I need to head over to the Kakariko Village for a second because I need to tell you now, right now, right here, right now, the last magic bean I just remembered off the top of my head. I was about to go to the Spear Temple. No. The last magic bean and little desert hole can be found outside the spirit temple. But, of course, we can only find it as a child. And this seems to be their most ready, readily source of uh, bugs. I mean, this is where I got I, this is where I got my first care, pair of bugs. Oh, it's that kid again. But yeah, this is where I got my first pair of bugs. And uh, I don't think I ever got another pair. This is going to be my one second trip. But yes, this is going to be the last magic bean. And... Last bug we have to use. So, take care of it. Now I shall go to the Spirit Temple. I don't know. It's not that I don't like playing. It's not. It's not that I don't like the Young Link stuff. But after you, but when, once you've once you played as Adult Link, it's just not the same being Young Link. You can't do the arrows. You can't do a hook shot. Oh well. So, that allows me to clear up all this. Oh crap, the levers are as tall as me now. Oh great. Well, that's not what I want. Oh shoot, they're flanking me. They're flanking me. And there it is, right there. That's where we have to put our last bug and stuff. So, first I'll uh, put the bug in. That ought to work. And here should come another Sculptula. Come on. There you are. Thank you. Okay. So now, it's time to use, as it is, my last magic bean. Amazing I can sprout with no water in a completely desert environment out of a rock. That's a magic bean for you. And now I'm gonna do this all right quick. I'm just gonna go back, become a become adult link, come back here and ride it and get us some uh, a piece of heart and another sculpture. Why? Well it's something I can take care of right now. That way there's no distractions during the temple or anything. Oh I can't believe it, I don't need any more magic beans anymore. Alright. Strange, you would think uh, plugging in a magic sword would give you amazing power, but no, actually taking it out is... Oh, I'm pretty sure the natural balance of the universe can uh, handle a couple little uh, on and offs every now and then. Alright, let's head back now. Don't have time to waste in here in this Temple of Time. Nothing goes down here, ever! Uh, got the pretty large automatic doors, though. Well, that was done like long ago when we saw that cutscene. So anyway. 
Okay. So then. Getting some more secret item stuff. Wait. I think I can... Can I take care of that before the temple? I think I could get that out of the way. It would help me in the temple too. Or who knows, maybe it won't. Okay. Wait a second. This is the wrong stop. Dang it. Oh crap, and we have ways up there. We have the crow ways. Okay, magic bean. There you are. And you're a fast one. Yeah. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. You are not going to hit me. Thank you, Magic Bean. See, if you left early, I wouldn't have to worry about this. No, no, no. I need it to be nighttime. If it's not nighttime, the sculpture's not going to be here. Sorry, music. Alright. No. Okay. What the heck? What was that? I jumped up and the Magic Bean's like, Oh no, don't worry, I'm not gonna lose you. And he jumped in, swooped in underneath me and carried me off away. I appreciate your concern, Magic Bean. But I think I knew what I was doing when I jumped off. Okay, I'm gonna jump off on the- Aww. No, no. I'm sorry, Magic Bean, but you have to go on without me. Thank you. It doesn't help that you drew me right into that way. Bugs in the teeth, please. Crow in the face, not good. Uh, speaking of that, I've seen the, I've seen some more of that Skyward Sword stuff right now. Of course, by the time I'm recording them, okay, there are them everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna get the jump on them. Oh, you guys are smart now, man! I let off my spin attack. Anyway, now for the last prize I can get here. A piece of heart. But anyway. Yeah, I have seen more of that Skyward Sword stuff. It looks pretty, it looks alright. It, it's supposed to be kind of in the same style as this game as opposed to Twilight Princess's really dark sense and Wind Waker's toony sense. And with that, my friends, that is the last piece of heart. I probably should have made more of a big announcement about that, but there you have it. That is the last piece of heart in the game. That deserves a victory spin slash right there. And that's all I want, and that's all I really wanted to do, but there is one last side thing I can take care of. I'm interrupting myself. But yeah, the Skyward Sword stuff, it looks, it looks pretty interesting. The only thing I kind of find really risky, kind of a dumb thing, is, uh, oh, hello, crack. Oh. Nope, nope, I'm not gonna argue, interrupt myself again. Well, I'm just gonna say it's using bombs. But, um, is the fact that they're replacing a pony and a horse with what looks like... Seriously, it looks like a chocobo that can fly. Big red one. Now, I know chocobos can't fly, but it totally looks like one. Alright. Come on there, great fairy. It's gonna be one of the last ones in the game. What are we gonna give us? Oh, there you are. I'm serious, you're all starting to, you're all looking exactly the same. I, I don't mean to rude but you all look exactly the same at least in Majora's Mask you guys had some sort of variety oh great fairy magic oh sweet this is the last one I've been needing after all this time this was this to me the spell of wisdom sweet there it is the last magic spell, Nehru's love. Basically, cast a big old magic barrier around us, like a little magic shield. And it's only for a limited time, I guess. Now I know, I know the classic, I know the classic lingo. I'll come back here if I ever get weary, or I can just use one of the many fairies I've taken from you guys. Sorry about that. Once again, the little universal nature balance can take a hit for the team. Speaking of which, I don't think I need my bottle for anything anymore. I actually do not think I need my bottle for anything anymore unless I want to get a potion, but I'm probably not going to need that to like the last dungeon in the game. Because that's, that's the only time I ever really need magic after I get a certain item. Come on, there's supposed to be a sculpture around here. Oh. Ah. Uh, usually at night. 
me try that. I'll make it night and see. If there is a, there's another sculpture I can get out here. I remember this in a practice file. Oh, maybe it. Oh, maybe I can't knock it out. Oh, I can't knock it out. It's right there in the trunk, but I can't knock it out. It's like right there too. All right, there we go. Got it. Oh, come on. No, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna pick it up. That thing is a wide radius. Okay. I'm not going into the dungeon with this much little health left. I'm gonna get me some fairies. And all this, I have, man, all. Holy crap. 60 minutes, I haven't even started the temple yet. Just a lot of crapping around is what this is. Hello, everybody! Sorry, but I have to trap you all now. Or as many as I can. You think with little fairies I can capture more than just one. Alright, good. I almost thought... For a second I thought I just uh, caught water. Okay. I'm done. I'm going to the Temple of Time to finally maybe get started on this dungeon. Hopefully, as long as there's not a big cutscene. Oh, crap. Wait, there is a cutscene before I start. Oh! Probably not gonna then... Give it the old college try, though. Okay. Um, see any okay. Might as well get the items squared around before I become a child. I know I need bomb shoes and bomb three. Yep. The only items that I'm probably going to be using a lot of, except maybe for the boomerang. Hope the slingshot's not too much. I don't have a lot of ammo on that left. But, um, yep, the one item I'm using as a kid is the one item that probably is only legal for the adult to use. Mass explosives. Because these were simpler times. Alright, alright, we get it. <laughs> I don't know, I saw a funny, uh, uh, I was like, I think the website's called Hey Lols or something. I kind of sometimes I'm into that type of demotivational pictures that just make fun of things. But it was funny. Show a little picture of an ocarina and said, "As long as you can play the first six songs, you know the whole song." I mean, that's so true. I'm gonna stop now before I start pointing out the obvious and look like such a huge nerd. Well, let's get all the items situated out. That should be good for now. Let's get in this dungeon. Oh, forgot about you guys. What the? Oh, I didn't take any damage because you hit me, but then I picked up the heart almost instantly. Okay, let's get a shield back on. I, I, did I not equip that after I got eaten by that like like get back at the well? Hey, who are you? I need to get in there. I haven't seen you around, kid. What do you want? Okay, just tell her. You're supposed to tell her nothing, really. Nothing, really. You have nothing to do. What good timing. Can you do me a favor, kid? Um, what? Wait, see, I want I want to ask you first. Who would happen to be one of Ganondorf's followers, would you? Yeah? What if I am? <laughs> Don't try that, cool kid. Okay, I was just kid asking. A kid like you can never be one of Ganondorf's followers. Well, let's get to the chase. First of all, let me introduce myself. I'm the guru of the Gerudo. I'm a lone wolf thief. Oh, you're the second in command person. Don't get me wrong. We're both thieves. I'm completely different from Ganondorf. S besides the whole gender thing, right? With his followers, he stole from women and children. He even killed people. Does a thief not do that? A kid like you may not know this, but the Gerudo race consists only of women. Only one man is born every hundred years. That is some messed up genes. And actually quite specifically planned out, too. So the lone man must be the king. Oh, what's your name, kid? Jack. What kind of name is that? Well, anyway, I want to ask you a favor. Okay, will you go through this tiny hole and get a treasure that's inside? Innuendo. Give you equip. Okay, so oh, silver gauntlets. Don't even think about taking this treasure for yourself. Silver gauntlets won't fit a little kid like you if you try to equip them. However, foreshadow, foreshadow, foreshadow. Ganondorf and his minions are using the spirit temple as a hideout. 
the silver gauntlets will allow me to sneak deep into the temple. Okay, knowing how this game works, I'm pretty sure it's just his followers in here. Ganondorf probably wouldn't use this as a uh, hideout, otherwise he'd be in here. Hey, sure, I'll do it. I need some of this stuff. You know, right, let's give Ganondorf and his followers a big surprise, shall we? I don't know, Zelda kind of said the same thing, and that hasn't really worked out so far as I can see. Camera at time. You know what? I'm Lucky Jack 22, let's play Vaca at time, and in the next part, I'm actually gonna start this dang temple and get us further. See you then.